on my way to the Bishan Pole. And it is a beautiful day. A very beautiful day. You know, I thank God that uh, He provides these wonderful little things in life in the sense of enjoyment. <clears throat> Ignoring the flesh and yielding the peaceable fruit of the spirit. And that's how it's yielded, by ignoring the flesh. I watched Martin Zender this morning and listened to it while I was driving and I'm like, you know, it's good to get the clarification again and realization that ignoring the flesh and all its apparent uh, show I would say because it puts on a show the flesh puts on a show it's like a Hollywood movie the flesh is I hate that um, the reality is it has no place it's already been put to death in Christ and to ignore it is real peaceful fruit then you can actually be at peace and understand that uh, there's nothing wrong then you can actually not worry about anything, as it says in Philippians, not to worry about anything, but in prayer and tradition, making your requests known to God. <laughs> and the peace that passes all understanding will garrison your heart and mind and your apprehensions, your apprehensions, a realization in your mind that it's all good. That's a tough one. If you're paying attention to the flesh, I know this all too well. The battle was there for me for many years. But the less and less I focus on the flesh, the more peace there is. And the more enjoyment in this life there is. You know, how can you enjoy this life if you're beating yourself to a bloody pulp and you're saying, oh, you're paying attention to your flesh. Oh, shit. Ooh, I'm so horrible. Look at my flesh. Look at me, I'm so horrible. Well, the outward man that's decaying is. We're failures. Yes, we are, because it's necessary to get the experience. Necessary to be failing on purpose that Christ may be illuminated in and through us. We're not robots, we're human beings. We have emotions. We have um, <clears throat> our daily experience. Our feelings get hurt. When somebody condemns you, they're condemning you. They're condemning your flesh, basically. And if you ignore their condemnation, because there's no condemnation in Christ whatsoever, then you won't be paying attention to what they think of you. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks of you. I'm telling you that right now. Stop worrying about what people think of you. That's important. When I stop worrying about what people think of me and whether this guy likes me, that guy likes me. Oh, I'm not in the body of Christ. Um, I, I must be a horrible human being. No, stop that. We've all had them thoughts. No kidding. But that is lies. That is the lies of the wicked one. That is the lies that he uses against you through the flesh. So, not paying attention to it brings that peace. I'm going on, on a fishing trip today and I'm enjoying my day because God has graced me with it. That I can say with true conviction in spirit and understanding in realization that he is the one that's giving me this this experience today is given by God it's an enjoying experience to go fishing for me I love it and this is a pleasure that God has graced me with there's nothing wrong with having pleasure and, a, and uh, enjoyment in life nothing at all in fact the more you ignore the flesh the more enjoyment you'll have I'm just talking today. I'm not reading anything. Uh, you know, and I think uh, 
I prefer this method of uh, communication. You know, we can go into the scriptures. And I think I'm going to use scripture coming up and the sense of explaining it from my own personal experience and perspective, knowing that it is the word of God and the truth that is there is actually experienced in your life. This is how we are living, breathing words of God is because we soak it in and we retain it and we continue to develop and grow to maturity in Christ that way. When we soak it in and we apply it in our daily experience, that's walking in spirit and in the realization that God is in absolute control of every fine detail and as he scripted it for your life. We all long for the snatching away. Yes, we do. But if we're living moment to moment and living in spirit and walking in spirit rather than in flesh and paying attention to that, then we can have that expectation without it being mortified in the sense of dragging it down to the dust and dragging it down into death. Um, the death of Christ paid for all paid for every single human being, every creature, every spiritual being among the celestials, all of this. We're going to take that to the celestial realm, the death of Christ. It was a lamb slain from the disruption. We were part of that as being chosen in Christ before the disruption. Nothing can taint it. Nothing can take it away from us. When you realize the whole import of that, it's like, wow, man, you were chosen before sin entered the universe. Then, when you miss the mark during this life, it's an experience, yes it is. But we don't have to pay attention to it. It's like, <laughs> being human, it's like dying to die from the first man, Adam, out of the soil, condemned in Adam, alive in Christ, that's what we now are now condemned. We were condemned in Adam and now we're alive in Christ. Alive in Christ, walking in spirit, enjoying the love of God and the grace of God. Because it's all grace. All of this, this whole experience is grace. And we've been given grace in an abundant, lavishly, overwhelmingly poured out on us from God directly unbelievable it's hard to describe that the grace of God I had a beautiful conversation with my wife last night um, she sees what's going on in the world around her she pays attention to it more than I do I don't pay attention to it but she does and she sees the dominoes or whatever they are being set up to be knocked down by God eventually but the dominoes are being set up in the world the wicked system the demonic system the elites all of that shit that's being set up purposely and only God is going to knock it down Christ when he returns to set up his kingdom on the earth the millennial reign then it'll be knocked down during the tribulation it's going to be wiped out people aren't going to that system is so horrible. Save Christ re didn't return. There's no human soul that would even survive it. So thank God for that. We'll be returning with the glorified Christ. As glorified, celestial, incorruptible, immortal, new frames, new bodies. We'll still be human. We'll still be ourselves, only vivified. Then the spirit completely engulfs us. It's beautiful. It's tremendous. This is our expectation. Live by that every day. Realizing what, what, what's coming up. The Ionian burden of glory that's coming. I know it's tired. It's, it's tiredness being here sometimes. It's, it's rough. In these mortal bodies. But there's a sequel coming. And that sequel is being glorified in Christ. Grace and peace. Have a beautiful, 
what is it today? Wednesday. Love you all.